Alright, so this is vlog number 8 for Project 8. Um, today I'm going to talk about the reading I did about Darko Maver and then also about how our Shark Tank project is going with our group. Um, so to start uh, from the reading uh, from the book about Darko Maver, um, I read about how this man Darko Maver was a Serbian um, artist or photographer and he supposedly took pictures of quote unquote fake um, fake scenes of wartime victims so like um, dead bodies people who have gotten mutilated or killed and supposedly all these photos were fake and they were just to like get a spark out of the public but the the confusing thing about it was that he was sent to jail um, for showing real images of murder and whatnot and it's kind of like it was kind of a, a twist so he claimed to have been sending fake photos but in reality they may have been actual real photos of real people that were killed and murdered um, so either way regardless of whether they were fake or not I feel like the photos after looking at some of them um, they're really graphic and really violent and Although many of the may, although maybe the public doesn't want to see them and maybe I don't want to see them as much, but and they may be a little graphic, but I feel like even though we don't want to see them, it's kind of maybe not good for us, but it, it opens our eyes to see what the world is really like, and I feel that it's a type of art that um, really gets the public to see things that they don't really pay attention to or they they kind of push away and it brings the public out of their comfort zone and it shows them what re the real world is really like and maybe maybe he Darko Mayer was trying to get the the people to see you know what's actually going on and maybe get some activism going to to help stop the crimes that were happening like that um, so I think even if it was maybe frowned upon and people didn't want to see this kind of photography I feel like it was still kind of necessary because it helped get the truth out and um, helped show the people what was really going on. All right, so now moving on to um, our project, our our VR installation project. Um, we had started off by talking to our artist, and he wanted to do something that um, had to relate to his art, maybe, and to like maybe try and get his name out there. So what we we ended up planning on doing was building a, a mini store to kind of represent our artists. So um, as you'll see later on, um, our our project in Second Life is a small building that we built from scratch. Everything was built from scratch. So we have a small building, and it looks it kind of represents maybe a present day Apple or Mac store. And what you have in there is um, a few. It's it's like an uh, Apple store with slash gallery so on the walls you'll find pictures of um, our artist Ryan McIntosh and also the work that he's done in the past um, surrounding like all the walls they're pasted all over and then on top of that um, the main the main gallery the main inside is the old Mac there's pictures of old Macs like the old Mac computers and what you're supposed to be able to do is um, it's like an exchange so you turn them in for newer computers because one of Ryan McIntosh's pieces of art that we saw was he um, took photographs and he he drew and painted um, the the old Mac computers so he did each Mac computer as they came out year by year and it's kind of like a timeline of the Mac so it was kind of interesting to us and we thought it would also represent our artist so that's what we did we kind of made it look like a store um, and also a gallery so it's a nice little gallery in dedication to Ryan McIntosh and that's about it thank you